Hey, Earth Signs, welcome in. This is your daily read for June 8th. We're looking at Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus uh, for your Twin Flame Soulmate uh, journey. We're going to start by pulling a card about what is going on for the journey. If you want more info about the Twin Flame journey, um, I have something called the Empress Club group on Facebook. It's a, it's a closed group, so go over there and ask to be admitted, and I will admit you. We do daily reads. We do all kinds of conversation. It's a really cool group, um, mostly divine feminines, but there's there's definitely some divine masculine woke dudes in there because I like the uh, description, um, awakened twin, awakening twin. This is a very, very powerful soulmate connection. So let's see what's going on. For you, this is my. This is the reason I started the channel. So let's get one for you guys, Earth signs, and being kind of called to do this today, and for the rest of the group here, Earth signs, protected by angels. This is the guidance for today for you. Know that you are here doing the work you're here to do. You're cherished and protected by the angels. Okay. So let that guide us a little bit as we do this reading for Earth Sign. Let that guide us a little bit. Protected by angels. Oh, I love that. All right, let's see what's going on for your connection. So my spread for this is uh, three for you, three for your connection, and then three for the relationship. Uh, you know, this is such a powerful soulmate um, reading that the energies do flip back and forth, so it's always a general read. So uh, take what resonates, and if it doesn't resonate, uh, try back tomorrow. We pull from the strongest energies. That's what I've been doing all along here is just, you know, grab it on to the strongest energies. Your earth sign, so let's do that right now. All right, see what's going on here. Underneath. Wow. Ten of Cups. Um... That's amazing. That is a twin flame card here. So for those of you watching this, um, that to me, my intention <clears throat> is always, I ask the universe when I get the 10 of cups card, when I get the Empress card, cause the Empress club to me is the, that is the highest level of, uh, spiritual attainment is Venus, right? Love. So when I get these cards, it's an indicator to me that this is a very powerful soulmate connection. So three, <laughs> yay, three, oh boy. Three for you, earth sign, three for your person here, your connection, and then three for um, the outcome. Well, not the outcome, right? It's like the, this is the energy of the relationship, okay? So um, the extended, we sort of see how it unfolds. So just FYI, okay. So what's going on here, uh, earth sign, very earthy, super earthy, is this is a spiritual journey you're having in an earth form, right? So you know that you exist on many planes, many levels. Quantum physics is currently diving into that um, to explain, right, that the whole Stephen Hawking, the work of time, about time, what is time, Einstein, work of time, right? Um, we experience life as very linear. They're positing that time is actually layers, that we're having our entire life all at the same time. We can only experience one moment in time. That's why mindfulness is so important. So for you, the fool, king of pentacles, devil. So there's something here about money because um, the devil is excess and the king of pentacles here is the highest vibration of um, the pentacles, really about the physical. And it's almost like, because the devil here is a very, is natural, right? One of the, because every de <laughs> cause, 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 every single card has a positive and negative side to it, which is why I don't read um, reversals. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. If a card comes out and it's reversed, that's important. That's like, hey, it is the reverse of this, but as you're reading, you look at the, the reading holistically, okay? And this 
feels like a fresh journey, right? And if you're leaving this behind, the devil and the, and the connection to money, it's also saying it's a fresh journey toward high level of connection to the physical, what we believe in as exchange, right? The law of exchange, energy for energy's sake, that's what money is. We've given money value. So if money, for some of you, money has tied you down and the fool is unencumbered, right? Un, unencumbered by entanglements. No imperial entanglements. Um, the devil is the ultimate in tying down, right? So if money has been the issue here to go on the new journey, there's something here you have to overcome about uh, in the physical. There's something here you need to overcome. And you're doing that right now because you're the fool here. Your person, the person you're connecting with, sun, this energy is very light, this beautiful fool sun energy here. Your connection, eight of cups, nine of swords. Feeling stressed out, walking away from the thing that has made you connected. Like, it's almost like you're shedding something in order to be this, in order for the angel to come together, the angels to come together, it, this is the uh, journey of Eros and Psyche, all right? So um, Psyche is a human being, a human form. Eros is an angel. And when they come together in this Ten of Cups, they've transcended the physical. They've transcended the physical experience, which is what is going on here. And actually, uh, Eight of Cups walking down into Hades, this is Persephone, walking down into Hades, walking away from something that has been powerfully connected. And because it's getting too much, because there's too much excess, right? So page of wands, page of swords, there's some, an, an A of wands. Lots of communication here. Lots of communication. And I want to remind you, you're protected by the angels here. I want to remind you of that. So the fool and the sun here, there is, there is some kind of light communication here. Someone is offering messages, offering, um, it's very light though, page of swords, page of wands, messages of passion, messages of um, what are we doing here kind of thing. There's a what are we doing here kind of feel. To get at the last card here, Eight of Wands, the outcome in this beginning part of it is that we're going to move together. Once you have overcome this Nine of Swords piece for your person here, your connection, they need to overcome this um, this thing that's making them walk away. I'm going to get one here for Nine of Swords. What are they, what are they, or Eight of, eight of Cups, Nine of Swords. What are you walking away from here? Because there's the sun, the tower. Oh, my goodness. The tower, magician, two of pentacles. The tower here, there's a movement from something that's very heavy to something that's very light. There's a movement away from Earth, 3D, to the spiritual. There's like this awareness that the 3D needs to get blown apart. Whatever's happening in the earth, whatever's happening on this plane needs to get blown up. The structures that are holding you down, holding you in, need to get blown apart so you can be the fool in the sun. Naturally, natural, ten of cups, right? This is moving away from dark toward light. And y'all are having like a conversation about it. It's not like you're against each other. It's like, wow, we've come together and it's, we don't, you know, in the, in the earth plane, <laughs> in the physical, we're coming together in the physical. We're already together in the spiritual and we're going to blow up and we can manifest anything we want. So what do we want? What do we want here? Really going to blow up something that is holding us down. I'm going to blow up something that's physical. 
so that we can be together in a light way. Fool, sun, ten of cups. And moving forward in that. Anything that doesn't feel good, anything that feels like excess, anything that feels like devil energy is going to get blown up. Going to get blown up. And then you guys get to decide what you want. All right, so we'll do an extended here. Let's do actions to take, blocks to love. We're going to get some messages to you from um, the sun, eight of cups, nine of swords person, okay, who's ready to blow this up. <laughs> and then we'll see how this uh, unfolds. We'll also get guidance, more guidance from the Denise Lynn Sacred Traveler deck, okay? So click on the link below. This is um, June 8th for Earth signs, okay? All right, I will.